Guys, what's going on? It's your boy Brandon for the hand. Thank you guys for tuning in to another session. It's November 9th. We're gonna smash some shoulders today. Very high volume. It's my second shoulder session of the week. Man, let's get it. I'm a little tired today, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. A little tired. I just woke up actually. <laughs> Alright guys, so up next we did we did the shoulder press. We did three sets, we pyramid it up. Up next we're gonna do a little uh like kind of a pre-exhaust, which I like doing pretty much for every muscle group. But for shoulders, what I like doing is I start the clock, we run three minutes on the clock. We do ten rear delt flies, ten side delt flies, ten um, straight up and down. As soon as you get done with all that, right into the rears, right into the sides, right into the front, we just keep running it for three minutes straight. You cannot stop, you cannot drop the weight. Let's get into it. We're gonna get into the meat and potatoes of this workout, man. So what we did is we started with the shoulder press. We pre-exhausted the, the, the rear, the side, and the front. Now we're gonna pinpoint and pick on just the rear delt. Okay, this is the second shoulder session of the week. I did a lot of fronts in the, in the beginning of the week. We're gonna take our priority, shift it to the rear delts, try and get those to grow. Let's get it. With your rear delt flies, what we just did, the first motion we did, your scapula should not contract like this. It should be open around the bench, using real light weight, coming all the way back as far, as much range of motion as your rear delt will allow. Coming through, squeezing through that rear delt, and then straighten that arm, stretch as much as you can. Right as soon as you get done with that, it's one of my favorite supersets for rear delts. You drop those weights, you grab a bar, you go heavy on this one, and you upright row. Great for the side lateral and rear delt. Let's keep this pace up. Let's go, cars.
right, guys, so we're going for another rear delt motion. I like to at least get two rear delt motions in the loop with this workout. So we're gonna come from, we're doing side lateral basically. It's gonna look like we're working the sides, but we're actually working the rear. So we're gonna come from the back, come from a really straight arm, using the rear delt to move it up. You can see it already engaged from back. Scaps back, coming up, coming up, squeezing, back down control, come up, squeezing, back down control. Check this out. I know a lot of you internet guys out there, science guys out there, whatever. I'm a big science guy too. I like to read the studies and whatnot. It looks like I'm doing side laterals, but my mind is in my rear delts. All I'm doing is just coming up, squeezing this chunk, and then coming back. All right, next up we're gonna do a side lateral motion. We're gonna get a little heavy on this one. Form's gonna get a little sloppy, but we're gonna overload the muscle. Try and contract the side delts as much as you can. Ready? Let's run it. I shouldn't have done it, bro. I shouldn't have done it. You Bro, it's like... What's up to the YouTube? What's up, YouTube? This boy's the future. Uh, the future right here. <laughs> this boy, Big Rock, always positive vibes with this guy. Always positive. <sighs> so so we, got, we did the rears. We're gonna do... One more thing for sides, the side lateral machine. Finish with a light front delt exercise. Get some light traps, maybe a little bit of abs. We're gonna call it for today, man. Next up, side lateral machine. Slow control, just try and squeeze the side and rear delts and control it on the negative. We did a little sloppy over there, kind of overloaded the, 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 the muscle. Did a little bit heavier than normal. Now come over here. Let's, let's slow control squeeze, baby. Here we go. Next, we got a front delt motion. It's our last shoulder workout of the day. This machine I really like. Um, we're gonna come down halfway and we're gonna lock up every rep right here, but you're placing your hands in front, you're not coming from the side. up the shoulder workout with a little bit of traps nothing heavy we went heavy in the beginning of the week with a barbell all we're gonna do grab some dumbbells 
make sure we're contracting through our scap, closing the scap as much as possible, and then coming down and stretching the trap as much as possible. Work with like 50 pound dumbbells and that's it. So what's the next video? So I want what I want to do is we're gonna thanks brother. Have a good night, man. Thank you. So we just filmed that shoulder workout, right? And I'm gonna go film a video tomorrow night for you guys as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the store and what I want to do is film the top foods that I eat right now um, that I put on my grocery list. So this is like, I wouldn't really call it shopping for size or anything like that, but what I'm gonna call it is like, you know, these are the foods that I eat on a day-to-day -day basis. Whether I'm in a surplus or a deficit, I eat these foods no matter what, you know, chicken, oatmeal, stuff like that. And kind of bring you guys to the store and show you guys how I shop, what I shop for, what I look for, little key points. Um, but yeah, for now I gotta get some rest, I'm exhausted. That shoulder workout was crazy. Hey, that was. That was a great workout. That was intense. Bro, I walked in that gym. At first, I was exhausted. I got a little bit of pre-workout in me. Down some coffee. Then I was bouncing off the walls. Now, I literally can't even keep my eyes open. It's like, hey, <laughs> yeah, hey. Yeah, up, down, up, down. Up, you know what I always think is funny when I work out with you? Is that we use all types of weights. Like, you always have me using, like, heavy weights. But then you throw in, like, really light weight. Yeah. And, like, it's crazy because it... it it fucking burns, bro. Well, that's the thing, dude. It's like a mind to muscle connection. Like I think mid workout, I was kind of chopping it up with you guys, telling you guys, you know, you know, here's weightlifting, right? Weightlifting, and I say this to every client I work with. Weightlifting is you move as much weight as you can. You know, that's why I started out. I built a base powerlifting, and I think it's great, and I think it's fun. I can't even hate on it. Like everybody hates on bodybuilding and stuff like that. Listen, there's weightlifting. You're moving with as much weight as you can. Then there's the bodybuilding aspect of things. You come in, you know, we're still doing heavy weights in the beginning of the workout. I like to start with a compound, end with a compound typically, and in the middle, I'm doing all light weights. We're, we're breaking down every little muscle in the shoulder. Um, same goes for every muscle in our body, really, you know? Like, we don't really, we don't really miss um, anything. So, outside calf, inside calf, like little shit nobody even thinks about. So, um, yeah. But for now, I gotta get to bed. Carson, let's show them the, hey. Hey. I mm -hmm. picked up a Cobra. This car is literally my dream car. We gotta show them the car, dog. Cause I think I might sell this tomorrow. So I wanna show you guys <laughs> this the This might be the this might be the last. This might be the last time, and this is like one of my favorite cars ever made. So this is a 2004 Cobra. I wasn't even gonna show anybody, but screw it. It's a 04 Cobra Terminator, 4.6, supercharged, 32 valve. This thing is a complete and utter animal. Um, it's one of literally my favorite cars ever made. If I sell this tomorrow, mark my, mark my words. I don't care if it's next year or 20 years from now, I'm gonna buy another one and build it again. Uh, check this out though, this is, I wanted a black convertible with black wheels. This thing to me, man, like everybody has their car, you know? You have, you, I'm gonna be that dad, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be that dad that's like, the old four Cobras are the best car ever made. You know, the dad's like, the 1960 Tempest is amazing. You know, that's gonna be me 100%. I love this thing, dude. Hey, let's start it up for these guys.
listen, it's a vibe. I ain't got no Apple Play, no Bluetooth in this thing. It's just raw old school, okay? That's how it rolls. <laughs> did is we put iBox sport lines on this thing we dropped it an inch I got custom wheels on this thing man 18 by nine and a half in the front 18 by ten and a half in the rear we got 275 in the front we got a 295 in the rear um, I had a freaking huge tire on this thing in the past and it was just getting chewed up by the fender so what I did is I went in and rolled the fenders I'll run a little clip in right here right now new pulley on this thing got SLP loud mouse on it custom X pipe your basic mods on this thing this thing you get pretty nutty with you can throw like you can throw a whip on this thing and the stock block will hold up to like a thousand horsepower and it's, it gets pretty nutty for me I was planning on daily driving it kind of baby in it it's a fun car man I'm so stoked to have it but if it sells tomorrow and the money comes in man I'm gonna take the check and run with it um, move on to something else so We'll build another one though in time. Guys, thank you for tuning in to my, my channel, man. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. I'm so stoked to be doing all of this. Carson, thank you for the help. I'm gonna tag Carson's channel, give him a check. We're out, man. It's been a long day, bro. It has, dude. What time you start today? I start, dude, I had to be there at like 7.30. Really? Yeah, I was rocking with clients all day today. I just, I literally just finished. Um, I, I knocked out a little workout, oh, right. a, little, a little arm. What's that? Go that way. This way? No, it's closed off. Is it really? Yeah. Oh. Did a little arm workout. And then, uh, just got a little protein shake. Got a little 50 gram protein shake right here. See, it's show, show them this. This is what I usually buy. I don't know. Maybe some bodybuilders or something been here because there's a lot of it gone. But these boneless chicken breasts, you guys don't want to buy the legs or anything like that. It's a lot of dark meat. It's extra fat. Um, I guess for your off season, it's okay. But in season, especially, you want to go with the chicken breasts. It's a lot less fat. White meat is always better than your dark meat. Quaker? I eat Quaker often, actually. Do you really? There's a huge conspiracy with Quaker. What's the conspiracy, bud? There's a lot of um, mercury in it. Are you being serious? No, I'm dead ass. Really? Well, wow. that's pretty interesting. I didn't know that. I eat a lot of Quaker, so I got a lot of mercury in this body, eh? All right, second thing on my list, guys. We got the chicken breast covered. Now, Carson, you, I don't even know if you like, do you like Quest Bars? I do like Quest Bars. I love Quest Bars. They come in so much handy for when I'm at work, um, especially in the off season. It's just quick calories for me. So I'm gonna grab four of these chocolate chip ones. Take the whole box. <laughs> Do you like the lemon ones? Oh my gosh, I've never even tried the lemon ones. Hey, the lemon ones are fire, I'm gonna be honest. Try that out. Come back here. Got a little something, something. Well, if, there, if you see a lemon one, I'll grab one. I don't even know. I've never even tried I'm one. I'll be honest, now. I've never even tried the lemon ones. <laughs> I don't even think they have lemon ones. I'm gonna be honest <laughs> with you, buddy. I was thinking of a uh, Cliff Bar. Cliff Bar, eh? Oh, this is clutch right here. This always comes in handy too. If you guys want to, so, I mean, this is shopping for size, right? What I'm gonna do is buy a flavored Greek yogurt. You get extra carbs and there's so much protein in there. This, the strawberry Chobani is amazing, right there. And the Chobani vanilla are my two favorites. All right, number three on the list, guys, almond milk. This is amazing. I throw this in my uh, oatmeal and whatnot, mix it with a little peanut butter. This is like dessert to me. I'll have this in the morning. I'll have this at night. I'll have this all day long. Oats, almond milk, peanut butter, a little bit of honey, a little bit of cinnamon. Dude, killer snack, dog. Killer.
I do the vanilla flavor. There's not that many carbs in here. Yeah, there's one gram of carbon here per cup. Two and a half grams of fat, one gram of protein. You can't beat it, man. You can't beat it. Number four, oatmeal. Quaker is my favorite brand. You got quick. I do, I do one minute um, quick oats. That steel cut stuff takes too much time for me, man. I get up in the morning, I gotta go. I run out the house right to clients. Um, I don't have time to sit there and I, I don't even know. The steel cuts takes too long. You ever cook steel cuts, CH? I actually do. I like them a lot, but they do take a long time. I like them. You know what my favorite thing to do is? I'm gonna give you guys a little, a little hack right here. So, you take this almond milk, instead of heating it up and then putting the, the oats in there, what you're gonna do is leave it cold, pour about a cup of oats into the thing. I weigh my oats, so I do 100 grams at a time. Pour about a cup of almond milk into that, put saran wrap over it, and let it sit for like a full 24 hours. Dude, that's the best way to eat oats. No I way. swear by that. Really? Yeah, dude, it's amazing. Um, the other way I eat it is like I just said, so I'll do the, the hot uh, almond milk, mix it up, um, peanut butter, honey, a um, little bit of cinnamon. That's a good one too, but I go back and forth. Sometimes at night I like that cold stuff, you know what I'm saying? Mix it up a little bit. Yo B. Yo. Hey, Yo. you should tell him about the shake. The protein shake. The shake that I've been making for the past Dude, six that's years. that's the secret, Hey, that's that is the, the shake. Secret, I've been making that shake for six years. I've told every single person that's ever come to my home, I've made that shake for them, and I think only like one person has ever said they didn't like it. I don't even tell my clients the shake, man. Do you really? I, I really don't. I don't tell anybody the shake. Hey, well. I told you the shake. Hey, I'm t I, I thank you for that. Listen, there's a shake that I make, and it's A1. Maybe I'll make a video on it. Comment below. This is better than Smoothie King, but I'm telling you, man. Hey, I, I can contest Better than that. dessert. Yep. If you want me to share it, comment below, I'll share it. What's been your personal breakthrough with creating content? Say it again? What's been your personal breakthrough with creating content? Listen, dude, I'm a pretty high energy type of dude, like 24 seven. Um, and that's why I do so well with like personal training right now, because like I'm able to carry that energy pretty much through the whole day. But I could never be one of those guys that like goes to school and gets like a, a, a desk job or something like that. Like I'm a bodybuilder, I lift weights and I can't really do the whole, you know, go get a nine to five, sit down, you know what I mean? So by doing this, I feel like I can enhance what I'm already doing. Um, I do the online training stuff, that's going really well. I utilize Facebook and Instagram to get more clients and whatnot. And I have no complaints doing that. I'm actually, dude, I just made a post about this, like CH, I tagged you in the post. Like I saw that. Yeah. So I was working like six, seven days a week, but then like hours and hours with clients. And I'm just like, dog, like it's rewarding. It's so much fun. My mindset with the whole personal training thing, dog, was like, I want to help as many people get in shape as possible. This is that was my goal like eight years ago. And now I realize there's only 24 hours in the day, right? How can I take that? and go to the next level and really help hundreds, thousands, you know what I mean? I see that with online, and that's what I'm trying to do now is, is really take my business and bring it online. So by doing all of this, it allows me to A, do what I love, be a bodybuilder, uh, be a trainer, um, and, and do it to the masses. Um, so for me, it was like a no-brainer. Most people look at it and they're like, that, that was my breakthrough basically, you know? Realizing that. Most people look at it and they're like, I can never do that, I don't wanna film in public. I'm like, look man, this is this is just what it is, this is like what we do. I'm just gonna film my life, I know it'll help me in the long run. And uh, I'm actually happy to do it. I'm having fun, a lot of fun with it, so I'm super, super stoked. Like, bringing it, bringing it back up, like I'm thinking about that conversation I just had with UCH, about like, what was that breakthrough? And I don't know if I necessarily call it a breakthrough, but there's been certain points like, there was a point after high school where I was like, what am I gonna do for a job, you know? Um, I know I'm not gonna get a desk job, like I just said. I know I'm not gonna go to college, I was a terrible student. What do I do, what do I do? I, I loved bodybuilding, I always competed all through high school, I was a power lifter. But what I realized is like, 
you know what? I want to stay in the realm of fitness. So what I did was, I was like, I'm going to go be a trainer. That's what I did. I went and be, I was a trainer. And I remember having this conversation with my mom back in the day. I was like, if I could just stack like 10, 15 clients back to back, I'd sit in the gym all day. You know what I mean? That'd be my dream. And then I'd just work out. And then I did that. You know what I mean? I sat in the gym all day. I got all these people in shape. It was a blast. Um, from 18 to, to now, literally, literally last month, I was doing that. And then, you know, I made friends and, and you know, big names in the industry that are online now. And these people would come up to me. They train at my gym all the time. They would come up to me and be like, dude, they'd look me dead in the face and be like, you're wasting your time in here. And I'd be like, how do I waste my time and help all these people? So like, you could take this, what you're doing now, help all these people, but do it exponentially through online and whatnot. So that's exactly what I'm trying to do with all this. But for now, let's buy some sweet potatoes, man. Do you have a sweet potato strategy? Excuse me, sir? Do you have a sweet potato strategy? Like how I cook them? No, how do you pick them? Yeah, you don't pick the ugly ones. <laughs> Nobody wants an ugly sweet potato, okay? Even the sweet potato's gotta be good looking, I. What is this? Oh, no. They're just constantly walking in the shot. 100%. No, did you see that clip I posted on Instagram? Yes. People walking in the middle. That's <laughs> dude, that had me dying. That had me dying too. All right. So the next thing on my list, you can never go wrong. You can never have too many. I literally have probably three to four of these a day. Bananas, man. And I'm gonna be honest with you, Albertos, Albertsons. Why are all your bananas green, dog? Dude, that means they last a couple days long. Yeah, last a couple days, but I gotta wait a couple days just to eat them. They taste like I'm, I'm eating a tree. <laughs> Literally just taking a bite out of bark. Couple of these, man. Tart. I can't believe you eat pop tarts. Dude, I. Love I'm gonna be them. honest. I'm, I'm shocked. See, I told you some weird stuff I buy, man. I believe that. I do love me some cereal, but I have plenty at the house right now, so I don't really need to buy too much cereal right now. So cool. <laughs> oh shit, it's YouTube? Oh shit, it's too late. I'm already in it. <laughs> <laughs> What's my total? Don't it is 5706. 5706, shopping on a budget, getting big on a budget. I'll see you guys next time. Purchase your tracks now.